Hello friends, this video on sound part 5 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Let us now talk about a very important part that is the speed of sound. So how do we determine the speed of sound? Even though sound is, I mean sound is an abstract thing, right? It is not traveling on its own. It is the disturbance which is being traveling through the medium. That is also not actually traveling. It is being transmitted by the particles of the medium. But the wave as a whole is propagating, right? So there has to be some speed with which the disturbance is being propagated. So the distance traveled by a point on the wave per unit time is known as the speed of sound. So it is denoted by a V. So when I talk of speed, I mean that any point on this wave, how much time it takes, how much distance it travels per unit time, that is known as the speed of sound. That means every point on this wave will have the same speed, right? And that speed is known as the speed of the sound. So how do we calculate the speed? So speed of a sound is given by the distance traveled divided by time taken. So consider any point. So what is the distance that is being traveled by that point? The distance is nothing but it is equal to one wavelength. Correct? This is one wavelength. So if the distance traveled is one wavelength and what is the time taken? Time taken to cover one wavelength. What is that? Please remember the definitions which I went through in the past few slides. So the time taken to complete one wavelength. One wavelength is nothing but one oscillation. So one wavelength is nothing but one oscillation. And time taken to cover one oscillation is time period. So this time taken to complete one wavelength is time period. So from this we can say that V is equal to lambda by T. Now 1 upon T. What is the reciprocal of time period? The reciprocal of time period is frequency. So we can say that speed of sound is equal to lambda, that is wavelength of the sound, multiplied by the frequency of the sound wave. So this comes out to be, this proves out to be a very important relationship. So it says that speed of sound remains almost the same for all frequencies in a given medium. So as frequency changes, speed of sound also changes. Now, if frequencies remain the same, speed of sound also remains the same because frequency and wavelength, again, they are very much related, right? So, if you have a sound wave, let us suppose if you have this sound wave. Now, if you change the frequency of the wave, let us suppose if you increase the frequency like this. Frequency increasing means it is coming closer, right? So, if frequency changes, your wavelength also changed, right? Earlier, your wavelength was this much. Now your wavelength is this much. So when your frequency changes, your wavelength changes automatically, right? So that means if your frequency remains the same, wavelength will also remain the same. As a result, the speed of the sound will also remain the same. That's what it says. Speed of sound remains almost the same for all frequencies in a given medium. So for a particular medium, correct? For a particular medium, even if your frequency is changing, for a specific medium, even if your frequency is changing, your lambda will also change accordingly. That means if your frequency is increasing, what will happen to the lambda? See here, the lambda was more. Now when frequency increased, here frequency increased and lambda decreased. Now let us suppose if you increase the frequency like this. What happened to lambda? Lambda increased. So in this case, your frequency decreased but lambda increases. So that means for all frequencies, whether your frequency increases or your frequency decreases, the wavelength will also change itself accordingly such that the speed remains the same. So relationship between frequency and wavelength is nu is equal to v by lambda, where v is the velocity of sound wave in the medium, nu is the frequency of the sound wave and lambda is the wavelength of the wave. And now the question is, how does speed vary with different media? So as I mentioned, in one medium, for all different frequencies, speed will remain the same. Because as frequency changes, a wavelength will also change itself accordingly. Now, if I change the medium, let us suppose if I say the speed of sound wave in air and the speed of sound wave in water. So that means there, there it will be different because the medium itself has changed. Correct? So how does it vary with the medium? Now, speed of sound wave vary with many different 
things. For example, the properties of the medium. So now whenever the medium changes from air to water, water has some set of properties, air has some different set of properties. So the properties of the medium changes. Temperature of the medium, maybe if it is water, it is some different temperature. If it is air, it is some different temperature. Pressure of the medium, so if we, even if we keep it in the same medium, but if we increase the temperature of it, if we decrease the pressure, so the speed of the sound wave may vary. So there are, these are some of the things on which, with which the speed of the sound wave varies. That is why in the previous slide, I clearly mentioned in the previous to previous slide, that speed of sound remains almost the same for all frequencies in a given medium under the same physical condition. So this is a very important point under the same physical conditions because if you change the temperature or if you change the pressure of the medium, the speed of the sound wave will also change. So if you keep all those things constant, then for different frequencies also the speed of the sound wave will remain the same. Now, how the speed of sound wave varies with properties of medium, with temperature and pressure of the medium, we are not going to discuss about all those, thing in, all those things in detail right now. We will discuss about them in our higher classes, that is in class 11. So for now, I think we have discussed a lot about um, the characteristics of sound wave. So, thank you. Please visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, Try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thank you once again.